um, Trump is working on becoming America's first dictator. And of course, you know how that's going to backfire because look at what happened with Adolf Hitler and everybody else. Um, they all ended up dying. Um, but Adolf Hitler committed suicide. So anyway, but Trump is not exaggerating, posturing, or just being hyperbolic. Um, or hyperbolic or whatever you want to call it. I'm not, but take his threat seriously. So um, Donald Trump is a liar, but not a very good one. When Trump says he is going to hurt you, he fucking means it. And this is one of the main, this is one of the primary reasons his political cultists are so loyal to him, even though he's not loyal to them in return. Now, on this subject, journalist Masha uh, Masha Gessen war warned and advised rule number one: believe the autocrat. They mean what they say. Whenever you find yourself thinking or hear others claiming that that they're exaggerating, that is our innate tendency to reach for a, for a rationalization. Now, this will happen often. Humans seem to have evolved to practice um. Denial when confronted publicly with the unacceptable. Um, in her new book, former White House um, a, former White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson shares how during the January 6th um, Klan attack on the Capitol by his sycophants, Trump was heard chanting "Hang Mike Pence" as Mike Pence was slain for his life. Now, Cassidy Hutchinson's account is but one more example of many showing how how the disgraced and mentally un unwell ex squatter likely has what, psychi what psychiatrist Dr. Justin Frank suggests is an erratic relationship to violence. Um, in an interview on Tuesday, Cassidy Hutchinson issued the following warning about her former, um, about her former boss. I think that Donald Trump is the, most grave threat that, is the most grave threat that we will face to our democracy in our lifetime and potentially in all of American history, which it is. He's the biggest threat that we have. Now, confirming Cassidy Hutchinson's warnings in a Sunday post on his fraud social disinformation platform, Trump again threatened to end freedom of the press and the First Amendment if he returns to squatting in the White House. Um, um, now, Trump go now, Trump goes on to say, they are almost all dishonest and corrupt. Basically, he's talking about himself. Um, now, basically, with, the, with its one-sided ambitious coverage by, M by NBC News, and in particular MSNBC, often incorrectly referred, often incorrectly referred to as MSDNC, should be investigated for its um, country's um, threatening treason. Um, Trump, you're the one being investigated for treason, so basically... And basically, basically, he goes on to say their endless coverage of the now fully debunked scam known as Russia, 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 that was not debunked. Um, and then he goes on to call the Democrats radical when the radical when when you find the radicals in the Republican Party. Now, now Trump Trump says, "Oh, it, I say up front, openly and proudly, that when I win the presidency of the United States, which you will not win again, and others of the of the media will be thoroughly scrutinized for the knowingly dishonest and corrupt coverage of people, things, and events." Um, the only people that's corrupt Trump is you. Um, why should NBC or any other of the corrupt and dishonest media companies be entitled to be um, to use the very um, very valuable airways of the USA or um, USA free? Um, basically, he goes on to say they are a true threat to democracy, which in fact Trump is a, a is a threat to democracy. And yes, Trump is the enemy of the people. Um, yeah, and Trump, you will pay for what you did to our country because you destroyed it in four years. Well, actually, it took you it took you about two weeks to destroy it. Um, now, Trump is not exaggerating or posturing or just being hyper, um, hyperbolic, as um, too many of, in the American news media and the country's political class and among the general public would like to believe. Now, at this point, he's just fucking delusional. When Trump calls the news media the enemy of the people and invokes the Nazi and their attacks on the um, Lugan press, he is threatening members of the, of the news media and, and public more broadly with prison and even, and even worse if they dare to oppose him. Um... At a Klan rally in Iowa last week, Trump told a sycophant that he is going to invoke the Alien Enemies Act. So if you don't know what the Alien what the Alien Enemies Act is, it's a little used law that gives the um that gives the president or squad or unilateral power to deport and detain non citizens who are fourteen years old and older. The Alien Enemies Act was last used by President Roosevelt during World War II to put Japanese Americans into concentration camps. Now Trump has also promised to reinstate a ban on travel to America from Muslim countries as well as his regime's evil family separation policy and presumably the, con the concentration camp system that accompanied that. Um, 
Now, Trump is threatening to use the Alien Enemies Act against drug dealers and suspected gang members. Now, Trump should not be believed, given his past behavior and announced plans to become a dictator, that he would likely use that law to target his personal and political enemies. As seen in his recent, um, recent attacks on General Mark Milley, Trump has escalated his fascist threats of violence as part of his plan to become America's first dictator. Um, in an interview earlier this month with Hugh Hewitt, Trump summoned the white supremacist conspiracy theory that the lied that the, the Democrats are importing black and brown people from third world countries in an attempt to replace rural Americans, i.e. white Christians, which is not true. That is a lie that Trump told. And yes, um, basically Trump goes on to say that these are corrupt people. Yes, Trump is corrupt. Um, he goes on to say that these people are fascists. Yes, Trump is a fascist. And um, and Trump goes on to say, oh, that these people are, are Marxists and communists, and Trump is all four of those. Um, these are sick people that are destroying our country. Yeah, Trump, you're a sick person that destroyed our country. Um, we have millions of people coming in. No, we do not. Basically, um, he says, oh, we're in New York right now, and I just rode through the streets. Um, basically, you probably wanted your fat ass on a golf cart through the street. Um Um, Trump is lying again, saying that there are thousands and thousands of people in plain sight that come from foreign countries. Um, no. Basically, he says, um, it's foreign countries that many people have never heard of. Um, that's what he's claiming. Basically, he says, these cartels are making a fortune and they're destroying our country. Um, yeah, Trump, you destroyed our country, right? And, and then he goes on to say that, oh, the president is incompetent and corrupt, and Trump just described himself when he said... The, for, the the former squatter is incompetent and corrupt. So basically, Trump, you are incompetent and corrupt. In his interviews and speeches and other communications, Trump is also continuing to announce his plans to deploy the military to occupy American cities, meaning major cities with large populations of, no, of non-whites and blue parts of the country. But homeless people in camps put the homeless people in camps, used the Department of Justice to punish and imprison his political rivals, including Biden, and to criminalize transgender people. All in all, Trump's plans are an extension of a decades-long revolutionary project by the conservative movement and white and white right to end multi, a multiracial pluralistic democracy, and they want to replace it with the crystal fascist plutocracy. These plans to end American democracy are detailed in Trump's Agenda 47 and the, Her and the Heritage Foundation's Project 2025. In a 2022 essay at Current, historian John B. Had reflected, had reflected upon the lessons for how to turn the United States into a fascist nation, as instructed in the 1938 satirical novel, The School for Dictators. Um, number one, encourage anti-intellectualism. Two, undermine moral standards, especially among lawmakers. Three, pursue power for power's sake. Four, develop a spiritual connection with loyal sycophants. Five, rewrite national history. And six, create, poli and create political chaos. Um, now, 80 years later, The School for Dictators is a prophetic um, guidebook for the, for the Trump scene. Now, for more than seven years, the American news media has largely continued to fail in its responsibilities to defend American democracy against Trumpism and, and, and its neo-fascist movement. In a time of democracy crisis, the news media should be speaking truth to the powerful and shining a light on the threats to democracy and civil society and helping the public to understand the nature of that challenge and what they should do about it instead. Um, the, but instead, the American news media has decided to play referee or, or, or alternatively, to behave like a traffic cop who does not intervene to stop the crimes that he or she is witnessing. Now, Donald Trump is an objective threat to American democracy and civil society. That is a fucking fact. He is a threat. Now, instead of stating that fact consistently and plainly, the American news media has decided to be neutral and to create false standards of fairness and balance and a both sidism that reduce these ex ex existential dangers to being mere partisanship and polarization where the Democrats and Republicans Biden and Trump and those Americans who believe in a real democracy versus the supporters of the maggot movement and the neo-fascism are all more or less equivalent. Now, in all profits and entertaining and distracting the public matter to the mainstream news media more than telling uncomfortable truths, but in a recent post on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, author Stephen Beschloss describes such irresponsible behavior by the country's news media in, in the following way. Trump is getting worse and more dangerous and, and, he's, more, and he's held bent on inciting more and more violence. This is not a candidate that we need. This is a criminal defendant seeking to save his own ass, no matter how much damage he causes. The media must stop pretending that this is a normal squatteral horse race. Um, in, the, in, the, in one context, a news outlet can cover Trump's affronts to democracy, but it can't quite internalize them. Internalize them. But for such a publication to fully behave as though it has work in memory and a capacity to rationally weigh the significance of, dis, of, of the disparate pieces of information, would it be for it to resemble a partisan rag? 
Now, the most, the most salient truth about the 2024 election is that the Republican Party is poised to nominate an authoritarian thug who publishes rationalizations for political violence and, prom and promises to abuse the presidential authority or squatter authority on a near-fucking daily basis. Now, there is no way for a paper or a news channel to appropriately emphasize this reality without sounding like a shrill, dull Democratic propaganda outlet. So, like the nation writ large, the press com uh, comports itself as an, am as an amnesiac or an abusive household committed to keeping up appearances. Um, now, once again, as Masha Gessen warns, believe the autocrats, they mean what they say. And the autocrat, and in this case, it's Donald Trump. He wants to be a fucking dictator, and he's not fucking kidding. Now, denial, wish-casting, hope-peddling, and hiding behind centrism, norms, consensus, institutions, the guardrails, the traditions, um, the American exceptionalism, and their leaders, the adults in the room, and other myths and fantasies and failed psychological coping mechanisms will not save you or American democracy from Trump and the Republican fascist um, cruelty and destruction and pain. And we're just going to have to basically give them a fuck you at the, at the voters' box and tell the Republicans, fuck you, we do not want you. Um, so if you like the video, you can get the video, like, and subscribe to the channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube. And for just a little, a few bucks a video or monthly donation can help go a long way. And thanks for listening.